Good morning, Boker Tov. Today we're going to look at the word peace or shalom. I'm sure that many of you have heard that word before. You may have even spoken it. But there's more to the word shalom than I think most of us realize. It's more than just a friendly greeting. This is what shalom looks like. It's a sheen, a lamed, a vav, and a closed mem. It's number 7965 in your Strong's Concordance. That sheen right there is victory of good over evil. It also looks like teeth or fire. It's the fiery zeal of God to overcome the enemies of our souls. Lamed is the second letter, and it means dedication to a task. It's a staff or a goad to urge you forward in the right direction. It's instruction or teaching with authority. Vav is the third letter, and it's a number six, which is the number of man. It looks like a nail or a hook. Yeshua is called the Vav. He took the nail for us to reconnect heaven to earth, to secure us again in God. And the last letter is a closed mem. Mem is, has to do with womb or water or cleansing that brings life. When you put all of these together, peace, we can say that peace exercises victory of good over evil. He consumes all of our enemies. Peace dedicates himself to a task, teaching us how to walk in humility and authority. Peace came as a man to be the nail and to take the nail, to secure us once again in right relationship with God. And Mem is peace comes in cleansing water. When peace comes, it, it washes us of all all the fear and the anxiety and everything else and it brings life and it holds hidden truth once peace comes into our life we're able to think more clearly and act more decisively so the word shalom means much more than peace it means well-being in every aspect of our lives physically emotionally mentally and spiritually when a Jew greets another with the word shalom, he's not just saying have a nice day. Shalom means may all of your all that you need for your well-being be supplied. Yeshua, the God of peace, is our shalom. He is our well-being authority. There's a couple of scriptures I want to share with you today. One is Isaiah 26, 3, and this is one that I'm sure you've heard before. It says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. When we trust in the Lord and our mind is stayed on him, everything that we need in the way of direction and understanding, peace comes all over us and that's shalom. In John 14, 27, Jesus said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. He's saying, everything that you need for your well-being, I give to you. You have the full meal deal because I'm giving you myself. And he says, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We don't need to be afraid because Jesus, the great I am, the Prince of Peace, dwells in us. Shalom. Have a blessed day.